doesn't seem to matter how many times I play this stupid little game, it always makes me laugh. Guys, there's been an emergency. Someone has stolen all of the Christmas presents. So, instead of calling, oh I don't know, Mario or Sonic to sort them out, Santa Claus has decided to grab his sack of toys and he's going to get the Christmas presents back himself. <laughs> Couldn't think of anyone else better for the job, I suppose. Welcome. Welcome indeed. To the stream and an annual tradition. Welcome to Days Before Christmas. I am excited to play this, as I always am. This game is, ironically enough, one of the most expensive games that I have a physical cartridge of. For some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why, this game only officially released in Australia in 1994 for the Sega Mega Drive. It was then ported to the Super Nintendo and released in both Europe and Australia. We are playing the Super Nintendo version. Bizarrely, a North American release was planned, but it never released. Making this game quite rare. The game itself is fairly short. We'll be playing through 24 days of Christmas dealing with a range of bosses and a range of enemies as we wrap up foes and toys and turn them into Christmas presents so that we can dr deliver them across the world. So, like I said, this is something of an annual tradition here. I started it last year. I want to continue this tradition through Basically, for however long I continue streaming, we are going to be playing Days Before Christmas every Christmas Eve. We have to save Christmas. Let's get started. Yeah, that's an evil Santa Claus, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, I figured I'd go into options here just to show you guys what the options are like. Uh, there's an easy, normal, or hard difficulty. Music on, sound effects on. You can... There's a sound test here, so you can hear the music. Jump is on B, throw with, with A. Anti-time, we'll see what that is later. And a password, and that's it. Also, we'd just like to point out that the in the sound test, there is exactly 16 tracks, and that's it. <laughs> there is not much here to offer. Alright. You can play this in two-player, which is basically any sort of... Uh, Super Nintendo game that is two player aside from Donkey Kong Country where basically player one plays a level then player two will play the same level and so on and so forth until you beat the game. There's only 24 levels as I said previously. Only days before Christmas Santa slept in his house. An evil plot was brewing cooked up by an awful louse. The cold and evil snowman scared all the elves away. Timekeeper stole plans from Santa's house that day but for the vicious louse this wasn't bad enough. I'm really gonna show him I'm gonna play rough. He tore the presents open and on them cast a spell. That's when Santa woke up. Something wasn't well. All his elves had vanished, his presents also gone, and threats were awaiting surely more than one. That doesn't rhyme very well with gone, but sure. <laughs> but what? Beware the magic potion calling Santa's evil twin, the angry anti claws. His fiend from within. So Auntie must be Santa. What? <laughs> so Auntie must be Santa. Pick presents all the way. To face the foes so bravely and make it through the day. Go beat the evil bosses who's lurking in the dark. Find his sleigh and reindeer set out to make his mark. Find every stolen present that was unjustly craved. For every kid on the earth, Christmas must be saved. This is your level select screen? It's not really a level select screen. It's just an advent calendar showing you where you are on the map. 
you can't actually select levels. Santa's hallway! Alright, player one get ready. So, few things you'll notice straight away. This is not a timed game. You have all the time in the world to complete the stages. D-pad to move, B button to jump, Y button to throw a snowball. I'm calling it a snowball, it's definitely not magic, it looks like a snowball to me. If you press the B button whilst in midair, Santa will do what I like to call the Santa Kung Fu kick. And that's it. You can duck and hide in your Santa hat, but that's about it. That is an elf. You cannot interact with them whatsoever, they are just there for extra points. In order to open presents, you need to either use Santa's Kung Fu Kick, or you can throw your snowball at them. We also turn all of the bad guys into presents. Can't, can't imagine that's gonna go down well with the kids. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> These bells here act as your checkpoints. Up in the top, we can see how many presents I've collected for the stage, how many lives I have. That is an extra life there. And how much health I have, represented by Santa hats. I can have up to five hit points. Oh, who put a bomb in a present? You do not run any faster, by the way, by pressing the B button. Hmm. I thought that was going to take me up. That one bounces me higher. Let's see if I can get those presents in here. Oh, for goodness sake, who puts bombs in presents? Uh, yep, okay, so you gotta press up on the D-pad to climb up candy canes. There's not many points in the game where you'll be doing that, so... You can't Kung Fu kick me! I can Kung Fu kick you! Oh. Time for coffee! <laughs> this is Anti-Claws! He uses his Santa hat to attack. And that's about it. You gain invincibility. Also it respawns. And in case you're wondering, he ducks into his sack. Andy Claus can't open presents and also can't use the snowballs, so he can't turn things into presents either. I also don't think he has a Kung Fu kick. Let's find out. Just because he's invisible. Invincible. I actually don't know if he's, um... If he can run into enemies and what happens if he does. Like, he might just pass by. Oh no, he's he's got a kung fu kick. He gets a really angry face. <laughs> These stars mark the end of the level. After every four stages, I think, that's when you usually fight a boss, every four or five stages, uh, you'll get a password. Stage two, let it snow. Not let it go. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. That was a elf there. You can just, I love how you can just move through the game by throwing snowballs and you normally are okay. Yep, I'll wrap up the snowman. I'll wrap up the penguin. And whoop! Yeah, you're supposed to do that. There's no indication aside from the level opening screen. <laughs> this is the dumbest ending to a stage I've ever seen, because there's no real clear indication of what you're supposed to be doing there. You just, oh, there you go. <laughs> Down we go. Ice cave. All right. I think this is our first kind of mazy sort of level, but as long as you keep moving downwards, you should be okay. We can also pick up these lightning bolts. 
The lightning bolts allow us to shoot a limited amount of flames, or permanent flames for the level, I'm not sure, which can be used to melt ice. And that there was our reindeer. Apparently turning... Apparently cooking things turns them into presents. Who'd have thought? I love how the reindeer just look... I don't know, weird. Weird and bootleggy. But they're the only sort of animals that do look weird and bootleggy. What am I supposed to... Okay. Steady. Like how can you just jump up here? It's almost a good idea to do a kung fu kick every time you jump. Just in case there's something below you. There is going to be a lot of that. A lot of blind jumps. Uh, what's in here? I just lit the elf on fire. Oh, there were two penguins there. Okay. I could be about to die if I'm not careful. Are you... Nope, you're just an elf. Alright. What I need is some more health. Ah. That'll do. Nice. Checkpoint. And... That could be problematic. Don't die. Don't die. I think those penguins can throw snowballs, if you're not careful. Ow! Oh. Okay, so no health counts as health. Alright. Noted. So you can have up to 6 HP. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll take it. <laughs> cool, we're done. We're already three levels in, man. <laughs> Stage four. Blue magic. So your health doesn't restore to full, it only restores to... Uh... Four. Okay, nothing up here, all right. Oh, steady. I'm gonna try for as high of a score as I possibly can, but of course I don't know where everything is. Oh yeah. There is no reason why that exists, it's just a, it's just a thing. Whoa, Jack in the Box. <laughs> so if you're ducking, he just stands up anyway. Also, I have no idea exactly where we are or what this level is supposed to represent, because a lot of the levels are like take place in real-life locations that you might find around the place, like an ice cave and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, we're just flying around on a silly magic carpet. <laughs> Mind you, maybe I'm asking a little too much of this game. I mean, we're physically wrapping penguins in the presents. At least the helicopter and the toys make sense. Or the jack-in-the-box, I should say. But some things just don't make sense at all. Completely missed you there. Now, is there anything down? No, there's nothing down there. Okay. All right, noted. By the way, as usual, let me know if the game audio is too loud, or if the game audio is too soft, or if I'm too loud, or if the game, or if I, 
I'm too soft. What if there's something down there? Oh, I could not Kung Fu kick you. By the way, none of the other buttons do anything, but you want to be careful because I think pressing up and L resets the game. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the thing or if it's the uh, analog Super NT. I'm actually playing this on the analog Super NT, by the way. The evil snowman! We're up to our first boss fight already. This is very cheery music for a boss fight. Santa crosses a bridge. Whoop! Aha! Take that, you stupid evil snowman. Ha! Oh no, there's more of you! Gotcha. Three. Four. I have no idea what I just grabbed. I think it must have been an extra life, because that went up. Five. Do I want to go back and grab? Look, I don't have a time on it. Ha! We'll grab the fireball power up. The evil snowman has appeared. The idea here is to simply hit him in the head. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> Looks as though if I just duck, he can't hit me. That's what, three hits? Four hits. Five hits. Six hits. Seven hit, seven hits does him in. Extra point of health, and we're out of here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right. Stage six over England. We have 61 presents, and the idea is to drop as many presents into the chimneys as we possibly can. We actually want to aim for the smoking chimneys. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Oh, well, missed that one. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Oh, well, missed. Bombs away! Bombs away! You can go through those hot air balloons. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Grenade! Santa, what are you doing? Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! That's it. That's basically a bonus stage. A magical access code is CONFIRM. <laughs> the game doesn't save, it uses passwords. Flooded basin basement. Welcome to my hatred. Hi Mars, welcome on in. Time for a cup of coffee! Time to jump off this ledge! <laughs> First death! Mmm, <laughs> yes, coffee. Coffee that turns me into Andy Claus.
I'm not sure if Santa really loves his cuppa. <laughs> Alright, take the extra health. Don't think I needed that. Now, the trouble with Flooded Basement is, eventually, I think about halfway through the stage or so, the water level starts to rise automatically, and we need to outrun it. I think it's about here, actually, that it starts happening, so I need to move. Because once it catches you, you're done! Oh my god! Careful. Whoop! There we go, got it. Alright, extra life. I'll take that, because I think I'm going to die on this stage again. This stage was the bane of my existence when I first played this game. I could not complete it. And it's funny how I'm saying that in the end of the levels right there. So there's the water level rising up. Does that... That's not stopping. <laughs> That's not stopping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Wood factory. All right, straight on to a conveyor belt. And the problem was, if I could beat that stage, I couldn't beat Wood Factory. If I could beat Wood Factory, I couldn't beat the stage after Wood Factory, which means I never progressed. <laughs> I was actually playing this two-player with a friend at the time, and, uh... They managed to beat the game before I got any further. <laughs> oh, there's a thing up there. Hang on. Can I go... Aha! Coffee! <laughs> According to the Wikipedia, this is supposed to be either... Well, it's supposed to be a cup of tea. I like the fact that I like to call it coffee. And according to the game, it's magic potion. The only magic potion I know of is the one in Asterix. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going well. <laughs> Red Bull, yes. <laughs> Alright. Love how it's not even flooded basement giving me trouble. It's literally this stage. That's the problem with the game. There are a lot of blind jumps. And every time I open a present, I keep thinking it's going to be something bad. Oh, well. <laughs> For goodness sake, that's like the second time I've done that and the third time I've done it, died in this stage. Oh my goodness. At this rate, Santa will have only restored England. <laughs> Gonna have to try a little bit harder than that, I'm afraid, Santa. Come here, you. <laughs> you don't escape the coffee! Alright. There we go, that's better. Wait for those to go down, alright. Oh my goodness, I was dying so close to the checkpoint too. <laughs> oh no, an electric mouse! Sorry, we'll just wrap that in a present and send it to a kid. Imagine these kids are going to be very happy when they open a present and it's just a rat that wants to kick their face in. Or a worm. Not sure what's worse. 
A rat that wants to kick your face in or a lump of coal? Stick that in your Christmas stocking and eat it. <laughs> this is just the sort of presents Santa gives you when he doesn't get his milk and cookies. You will give me a present. And so will you. Oh, I hate blind jumps! That's why! <laughs> How far back are we stepping? There. God, that's a bit mean, that enemy placement. You will stand still and turn into a present so that I can I can grab you and store you and send you to a kid. Oh Piffle. I wonder what Santa's soft swears would be. That's a weird topic for a stream about a Santa Claus game? It's sort of like how Thomas goes, oh bother, and... Or Thomas the Tank Engine, I should say. I should say it goes, oh bother, cinders and ashes, bust my buffers, bust my boiler, that sort of thing. Like, what would... What would be a soft swear for Santa? I'm not entirely sure. He just turboed off. Where'd you go? Is there another one of you? Yep, yeah, there sure enough is. Give me that. I want all of the presents. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Ah, blind jumps, man. I hate them. This game is full of them. I'm running low on lives, man. Also, what happens if I collect 100 presents? About to find out. I think that gives me an extra life. Nope. <laughs> Nope, the counter just keeps going up. It must be to keep track of them for the bonus stage. Okay, worm. Worm. Smack. For goodness sake, where is that heart? You don't see it until you're already halfway through the air. See, this is why I could not finish this game. And then I got stuck on the... Uh, got stuck on the next stage. Or got stuck on the previous stage, I should say. Got stuck on Flooded Basement and couldn't progress. Because this stage is not kind. <laughs> Oh, how did I get hit there? Whoa! Wait. Okay. I think I've got a good grip on where that might be now. Is 
See, that time it spawned in. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Hello, Redacted. Welcome on in. Today's Heroic Santas. I got 7,000 points, so that's pretty impressive. S. K. Y. L. E. R. I'll start the exit. So we have infinite continues. Oh, okay. It's per stage. Interesting. I thought it was actually per, um, per boss. Interesting. Maybe there is a set amount of continues then. Santa had no choice, he had to have the coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna make no progress beyond this stage, man. <laughs> Strap yourselves in, this could be a long one. Okay, so I have to actually attack enemies to get rid of them as anti-Santa. <laughs> oh my word, what am I doing? <laughs> Not even up to the part that was causing me trouble. I believe you can run out of presence on the bonus stage, so that's why your present count continuously goes up. I don't like the fact that I can't see, so I'm gonna go down here, grab my coffee, and wait. There is absolutely no reason why Anti-Santa exists. Don't expect the game to explain it, because you'll just be disappointed. Alright, so that's the checkpoint that I kept getting stuck at. Oh, I should have been hit there. Wait. Okay. This is fine. Huh. Build up a little bit of speed once I know where I'm going. Thing is, you can't even press L or R to scroll the screen a little bit further forward so you can see where you're going. Santa always stays in the middle of the screen and that's it. Okay, so this is where I was before. That's the platform with the two worms, and then there's this up here. You know what, I'm just gonna hold right and hope for the best. That's probably what you want to do there. <laughs> Cause that got me over it. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's gotta be something over here. There 
this. It's over there. Oh. Keep it in view. Alright. Alright, where are we going? Another heart. Alright. Oh, bloody hell. Why is there a toy shelf in the middle of the air? air? How many hearts are there? Okay, game. I'm getting I'm getting bad vibes from this. All right, we're done. Are we done? Am I out? Oh, thank God I'm out. <laughs> the magic cave. Air shops incoming. Too many Bubsy vibes out of that game. <laughs> ah yes, the chicken meatball. And the giant freaking army tank. Yes, let's put that in the present. That sounds like a great idea for a kid. Let's give me that. These rock guys, I believe, are pretty much invincible, so you can't even bother with them. Ah, coffee. Yeah, so you can't even destroy those guys as Andy Santa. Just another bomb in the present. Chicken meatball. Whoop! My friend used to call those guys, like, the Ingham Chicken mascot, because that's exactly what they look like. Whoa. It's either those guys or the... the lighter brown ones. Damn, lol. <laughs> oh, that was close. Can we not? See, the thing is, the intro title card says that there's something to do with these pods, but they don't do anything. Ah, right. This is a boot. <laughs> you just get booted back. It just boots you backwards. They can be placed a little bit awkwardly, so just be aware of them. Found a cutie. Hi, Grubby Panda. Welcome on in. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Well, I don't have any lives left, so let's try not to get a game over in this stage. See, like, they... It, it looks like they're supposed to be interactable, but then just not. For some reason. Like, I'm pressing all of the buttons on the D-pad. All the buttons on the D-pad, all the buttons on the controller, they do nothing. And I don't think you're supposed to wait on them either. Cushpat! Grabby Panda, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh! That's a boot. <laughs> Hi, David. Ringling. I think that's what these things are meant to even be. I know, right? That's how I feel with quite a few of the enemies in this game. Can we stop? I am trying to avoid the giant meatball and the boot at the same time. Thank you. What happens if I approach you from the... Okay, you just send me back. Hey, hey. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh! <laughs> bye bye <laughs> That's a game over, too. Rip. <laughs> I didn't even make the list this time. It's amazing news for me. Sure. How are you going? I'm going well. I am attempting very poorly to save Christmas. <laughs> Single-handedly. <laughs> it was recommended to you by Twitch. That's interesting. 
Well, let's not. Let's not jack in the box and say we did. Oh, well, coffee time. <laughs> Watch out, folks. Sad has had his morning coffee and he's not in a good mood. <laughs> was a recommended person, but I am not to be trusted. I mean, neither are the people who put bombs in presents. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> oh, can we stop with the two different kinds of meatballs? Thanks. <laughs> Whoop. Ow. Ow. Stop. No boot. Okay, that's fine. Tank. You know, I've noticed there's a distinctive lack of health in this stage. Come to think of it. Damn, Geodude got hands. <laughs> Bomb. That's not health. That's just a bad prank. Okay, don't touch it this time. Never really see present stack oh, like that. <laughs> They're shooting sonic brooms like he's killed. <laughs> Drinking this. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, Santa, if you want to turn something into a present for a kid, you gotta face it first. I can't unsee. <laughs> I mean, for me, they look. Well, I know that them. Suppo it's supposed to be magic, but to me, it kind of looks like a snowball, so I just keep referring to it as a snowball, even though it's very clearly magic. It's just more... It's just more... topical if... Santa is throwing a snowball, you know? You killed me before. Now you will become present. Santa Gill's coming to town. Better watch out. <laughs> Speaking of better watch out, better watch out for the really pointy star at the end of the stage. Cool. Bad not cry. Steel Factory. I think this is another maze-like stage. It's a good thing these aren't timed. Is it? Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. That is a very floppy plane. Whoop! That's a bomb. <laughs> there's some health, and... There's some coffee! Whoop! I just want the present. For a minute there, I thought it was an enemy. You are walking very fast. Well, that was a good landing. Okay. Sometimes you just don't ask questions. <laughs> Time for more coffee. Oh, you don't turn me into a present. Speaking of turning things into presents. Okay. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. What is this, April Fool's Day? Oh no, coffee turns people into Krampus. A lesson to cherish. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't give Santa coffee. This is why Santa prefers milk and cookies. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hey, I thought we left those parts in the wood factory. Don't bring them back. Okay, here we go. Line jumps once more. Ow. 
No, I don't think it is this stage. There's the whoop. That's close. I don't think it is this stage. that is the main stage, but I know there's one very similar to it. No, my present. That was mine. Stupid conveyor belts. Oh my god! <laughs> that was lucky. There is something up there. Sorry, I wanna I wanna go up there. Yep. Hey, an extra life. I'll take it. I'm gonna need them. Cool. Now with Wood Factor and Flutter Basement out of our way, we've got a, we've got a, I suppose a, uh, I want to say an easy time, but I'm not sure. That clock indicates we are at the timekeeper. Finish my book for today, lol. <laughs> uh... Now, how do I... Right, I can kick the crap out of you. Like that. All that's left is beers. What are we up to? Seven hits now? Eight? Oh, well. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> These bosses, man, are a joke. They didn't even have a level. Over Russia. What the fuck? <laughs> Giant freaking satellite things. Whoop! How are you going, mate? I'm going well. How about yourself? For God's sake. I'm actually not entirely sure what happens if you run out of presents. And I'm willing to bet those satellite things hit me. Whoa! Did I just... Hang on. No? Alright. I thought I threw that upwards. But no, it doesn't look like I did. Ow. I like the satisfying thunk that the presents make when you miss. It sounds like they just... It sounds like they just hit the snow. And that's it. <laughs> Santa's just like, oh, well, messed that one up. <laughs> Winter waters. Watch out for the polar bear. Then the jumping ice block? No point in dealing with that fish. This just sounds like a lovely winter stroll. And my name is David. Nice to meet you, David. Whoa! Piano ass looking ice block. You know, that was so long that I'm not intent on going back. Excuse you. Let's... Again, it looks like I'm supposed to be able to interact with this, and I can't.
I would assume that's just a bear. <laughs> it's just a bear, nothing to worry about. Because, like, I don't think he chases you or anything. Like, he's still asleep. Like, I don't get it. Oh, bomb. Santa well, nearly lost his Christmas baubles. Sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> Alright, take that. Take that. Checkpoint, and... The... I think these are supposed to be snowy platforms or something like that, but they just look like clouds. Well, I died. <laughs> okay. Turn around. There we go. Slowly. <gasps> I kung fu kicked when I should have jumped. <laughs> Wait, where'd you? There you are. Come back here. Let me turn you into a present. Everyone becomes a present. Unless Santa drinks his coffee first. Then no one becomes a present! <laughs> well, that was really long and obnoxious. I'd like a checkpoint, please. Or the end of the... stage. That's not the end of the stage, that's a bomb. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, what's the end of the stage for that one? Whew. Fourteen. It's damn winter today. Steel elevators. This is the main stage I was thinking of. Here we go. Let's dry out so well. Okay, take that. Straight into coffee. Haven't had one of these in a minute. Da -da 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 -da. No snow on the ground. Ah, gotcha. Like that. Extra health. Need that. That's an elf. You've heard of elf on, elf on a shelf. I was gonna think of something clever that rhymed with health, but I couldn't think of anything. What? Okay, careful. I can climb on these copper wires, but I gotta be careful. If you fall through those platforms, well, there's no saving you. Unless there's a platform directly underneath it. East coast of Canada. Oh, nice. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. Jump over the gap. And see, that's the other thing too, like, these elevators, when I step inside them, if I press up on the D-pad, I move upwards, so they can be interacted with. But there's just so many things in this game that I just can't interact with for some reason. Also, this platform is very misleading on where its edge is. Like, that's, that's not the edge of the platform, that is. Oh my goodness. But the other pla- the other platform's like right above it! What? Okay, we're up. Thank you for that huge round of indifference. There's nothing up here. Wow. <laughs> what a waste of time. Also, the elevator just sounds really wonky. Uh, anything over here? Yes. Well... Guess I'll just go back and grab those then. No, I reckon a warm winter. I think we are in an El Nino weather pattern. Take that.
二。Well, that's a thing. Coffee. It's been it's Halloween when we got a sheet of snow. Ah, uh, whoop! That's a race car. This is where we were before. Like I said, this stage is a bit of a maze. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room. Okay, so... Ow. 64. Anything over here? A checkpoint. There's the end of the stage there. Whoa! That's a bed of nails. <laughs> that was close. But I want to see if I can go up this elevator. Nope, I'm at the highest level. Okay. Alright, done. Loving the lack of snow, though. <laughs> whoa, whoa! You absolute jerks. You did this. Ah! Ugh! Oh, thank God there's a platform there! Oh! That was close. Hey, the damn winter driving. Wait, can I? Santa? There we go. No, we don't. Santa, come on. Come on, Santa. Santa, if you don't get up, I'm going to put you on a strict diet of no milk and no cookies. You can eat the reindeer's carrots for all I care. Come on, up you get. I refuse to believe that they made this as a death trap. There has to be a way up. Thank you. <sighs> Good grief. Jump over the bed of nails, jump over that. And there we go. Whew. Stage 15. Gift wrapping department. Santa does that himself. He doesn't need to visit the gift wrapping department. Hate winter driving even with winter tires. Alright, bomb. Electric mouse. Shilling with good tires. Gear. Knitting needles and a yarn ball. Wait. Do I? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. I'm a good driver, I swear. I like how I can just walk left. And that still turns me back into a present. Oh! Okay, give me that. And those. I completely missed you somehow. And you didn't hit me. You just bombarded me out of the sky. Alright, let's not go that way. Let me go this way. Well, that was a good combo, but that wasn't. Alright, okay. Blind jump, don't like that. Let's find out what's... Ow. 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 <laughs> okay, there's nothing down there. Alright. Fine, I'll go up then and go to the blind jump. Holding right! <laughs> oh! I almost did not react in time. Uh, nope, that's nothing down there. That was just an enemy. Okay, that's fine. Up we go. Don't 
Those blind jumps, man. I hate them. Whoa, where did you come from? <laughs> Bomb. Coffee. Death. <laughs> Straight down. Okay, let's try that again. I'm keeping a very close eye on my high score as well, because I would... Oh, I would actually like to beat Santa Claus. But we'll, uh, we'll find out. I'm not sure if I will. I've only got one life to play with. Enjoy your day. You too. You too, David. You too. Oh! Where do you come from? You just shoot out of the sky. Good grief. Alright, time for coffee. Okay, coffee over. Hey, next. Now hang on just a cotton picking minute. I threw a snowball at that. And I got an extra life. And then I picked it up and got another extra life. What? Huh? Look at my beers right now. Oh my. Whoop. Magic of Christmas. I wonder if that's actually a thing. I need to test this further. Was that a glitch? Stage 16. Magic bubbles. anti is doing something you actually can't do. Let me send you kisses. Uh, I would prefer if you didn't. Thank you. Uh, Alright. Elf. Is there anything down? Jack in the box. Okay, bomb. That's fine. Nice dodge! I wasn't aware that was even coming. Come on. Oh! Do you actually take me anywhere? No, not really. So you're just there to exist. Ah yes, you're just there to exist. That was the sentence. Good job, Skylar. Uh, oh. <laughs> no <laughs> little kid helicopters are gonna escape me. Oh, that was an extra life too. I could have tested the theory. Oh, okay, that just takes me back, does it? All right. Remind me next time we see an extra life that I've got to test that theory. But I grabbed that one before I could even think properly. Oh. That one keeps moving, does it? All right. Wasn't aware of that. Very funny. Very funny. Ha ha ha. Santa is laughing. Just blew up that elf. Okay, so there is stuff up there. I'm assuming we'll gather it up there. Whoa! I think I just glitched through the carpet. Oh, 
Okay, so it didn't increase. So wait, hang on. Hang on. If that's going to respawn, let me check. No, alright. Something must have happened in the previous one. Like... Whoa! Okay, that's not fun. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. If you get hit once, you go right back. Alright. Careful. Whoa. Santa. Whoa. I said Santa, but I actually meant Jack in the Box or whatever came out of that first present. Oh, down. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <gasps> For goodness sake. Okay, that's a higher jump. That's a higher jump than usual. All right. Well, the good news is, is I'm not losing any lives for this. So it's fine. <gasps> good grief. So you were actually kind of worth it because you were health. I know you guys can't land on the carpets, so that's fine. I kept dying right before the end of the stage too. That elf has lost his Christmas baubles and we have cleared the stage. I think we've actually hit the 80,000 points that I wanted to with that. <clears throat> stage 17. The Attic. Yeah, we hit 88,000. So there's only a few stages left to go, because we're at 18. Right. Can't go that way. putting two bombs there. Ah, okay, you're another uh, invincible enemy. And you're just gonna punch me in the face. Lovely. I just... What am I doing that's gaining me extra lives? I have no idea. Like, maybe that had something to do with the elf? Maybe it's like every 10 elves or something that you rescue, or something ridiculous like that? I don't know. Okay, I'm looking for a key. Oh, get up, Santa. Up, you get... There we go. That's fine. There we go. Cactus. What's cactus in that bloody attic anyway? Stupid idea that is. Checkpoint. Click the switch. I feel like that's the only switch in the entire game. Okay, what's the tea? What do you mean, what's the tea? It's definitely coffee, not tea. <laughs> it's actually, it actually is supposed to be tea, apparently. Oh, where did you come from? Eh, I'll take it. That turns me into anti Santa. Makes me invincible for a brief period of time, but I can't open presents. I just jumped right in that chimney. Cough tea. <laughs> oh, 
We're outside now. Uh, well, that doesn't do anything to the ghost mice. Like, mice or rats? I suppose they're supposed to be rats, considering. Hey, there we go. Oh, never mind. We're going back down. Okay. I thought we were finished with this stage. Guess not. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, phew. Can I jump past you? Is that a thing I can do? Yes, it is. Okay, why would I want to do that? Is there a reason? Ow. Where on earth am I going? Nowhere good, it seems. that barrel different? Why is that barrel differently colored? There's just stuff in this game that I can't explain and don't know how it works. So you know what? We're just gonna take the L and move on. We're not gonna take the L and move on because that's as far as I can go in this stage. Okay, so we gotta go back this way somehow. You know what that means? Can I... I can't climb that rope. Alright. That means it's time for a blind jump. Mm-hmm. Gotta love it. Gotta love those bombs, too. <sighs> Listen, you. Why can't in the first stage we encounter those spiders? They have a um, string attached to them? No, they don't. Oh, that's a cactus. Whoop! Merry Bombus. Merry Ratmus, too. Oh. I came from this way, right? Well, I mean, checkpoint at least? <laughs> this is a very long stage, wow. Uh, does that lead anything? Mm. Do you lead anywhere? No, because that's just back up the way I came. Alright, done. Nope. Stand on top of the barrel. Yes, thank you for punching me into that barrel. <laughs> okay, well now I need to be careful because I've got no health left. This is fine. No health is okay. I love no health. I would very much like some more health, please. Wow, alright. Fine, I'll go this way then. You clearly want me to. That's an elf there. Why are you chasing me?
Did my lives just go from six to seven or from five to seven? Oh, thank goodness, there's health. And I lost it. <laughs> Go away. Well, I suppose we gotta go down. Wait, what? Boss fight? Boss fight. What we have to do here is basically stand up here and smush it with the, uh, with the ten-ton weight. I think we've actually got to attract him first, too. <clears throat> smush. So that's, what, two times? This is three times? Well, it would be three times if I could hit him. Oh, I got hit. All right, so I can't get hit Three times there we go How many times do I have to do this? <clears throat> Four times Five times Sounded like it was in a lot of pain there Six times. So you can't only hit him once. Seven times. <coughs> so it must be a ten time thing. Poorly timed wait. Damn, imagine being able to combo him, I know, right? Also, aren't you Lao's and somehow not the uh, final boss? So that's what, nine? That was nine, yeah? Ten. How many times are you gonna get hit, buddy? Like, you're not even the final boss, mate. <clears throat> Tanky and so underwhelming. I know, right? Like I said, he's not even the final boss. I know that for a fact. Eleven. Twelve. Oh! Right, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I actually have to hit him. Okay. That's why. Okay, I got you now. Alright. I was doing something wrong. So that's four times, because we heard him roar before. So that's four times. Five times. That's it. <laughs> okay. Wow, I did that so wrong. <laughs> I extended that fight for way longer than it needed to. Wow, he only takes five hits. Eighteen. Over Japan. Shinimu makes the rules. Let's roll. Lights. Bombs away. Bombs away. He's talking with a mate. Okay, no worries. Bombs away. Bombs away. Oh, that. What? <laughs> Bombs away. <laughs> Bombs away. Oh, well. <laughs> Doorstep for you, mate. <laughs> Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Oh. Mm. 
Bombs away. Not seeing, uh, not seeing any chimneys here. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Oh, I couldn't press the button fast enough. Guess I'll just have to pick it up from the doorstep from like three doors down. Snjulb. Stage 19. North Pole. Kamehameha. Santa crosses a bridge. The size of these office buildings when the sand is super small. Well. Also, I like how we start in Sanders Hallway and now we're already back at the North Pole. That was a very quick round the world trip. I feel like we didn't go everywhere. <laughs> that person just confirms to me that Santa is shooting the old Sonic brooms. <laughs> Street Fighter 2 confirmed. I'm running out of health. Oh, <laughs> it's another hole. <laughs> I was going to try and jump that. It's whoop, straight down. Stage 20, deep down. I feel like the stages are starting to repeat themselves. Because, like, the first stage was Santa's hallway, which could be classified as Santa's, uh, thing. As Santa's, um... Where do I go? Do I go up? Guess I go up. No? I love blind jumps. They are so much fun. Okay, definitely gonna grab that before I leave, because I do need it. Oh, yeah, there's another one. But yeah, like, the first stage was, uh, the hallway. First stage was Santa's hallway. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I just fell. What was I trying to say? It's first stage was Santa's hallway, then the second stage was like outside in the ice. And then the snow. And then the third stage was the ice caves. It's basically replaying itself. Interesting. Especially since we're back at the North Pole again. Uh, there is a present up there and I'm not sure how to reach it. That's how. Further evidence that these are clouds and not snowdrifts that you can stand on. Well, that wasn't great because I gained health at the same rate that I lost it. Doink, 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 doink. Okay, that's you. But what if, and hear me out, there's stuff over here. There is, there's extra presents and things. Also, I hope you're keeping count, we've saved exactly three of Sanders reindeer in these ice caves. Also, whose idea was it to put them in the ice caves in the first place? Also, somehow I have nine lives now. <laughs> sure, I don't even know when that went up. Don't think we'll be getting another game over. This is stage 21. The creepy basement.
Round two with the rising water, I think. That or it's just an enemy palette for this particular stage. Take the higher path. I think that was health. Well, there's a checkpoint down there and I haven't gotten to it, so... Either we're looping back around to it, or I have somehow skipped it. That's fine. I'm dilly-dallying a lot here, so I really hope there's no water in this stage. If there's water in this stage, I'm screwed. Okay, give me that. Lots of health in this stage, at least. Also, apparently I can land on fully charged electric mice with no problem. As long as I Kung Fu kick them first. Oh god, the water level. Okay, so there was a water level and that's there was a rising water in that uh in that stage. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> stage 22. We're almost done. Santa's house. <laughs> we're back in Santa's house again. First through Santa's hallway and now to Santa's house. I think this is another maze stage. Ooh, okay. Cars take two hits now. They didn't previously, but they do now. So all the enemies have been beefed up a little bit. Hello, elf. I'm just wondering. Oh, okay, hello, elf number two. Roller skates. Bomb. Santa, why did you put broken glass in your house? Honestly. Okay. Haven't had coffee in a while. Just thought I'd point that out. Is that all just an extra thing for an extra life? Looks like it might have been. Whee! Splat. Extra health, I'll take that. Also, it seems as though my lives can't go above nine, because I definitely collected a life there. So that's interesting. And I'm assuming it doesn't fall below either. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Don't think I hit a checkpoint there. Yeah, alright. So, you can collect up to nine lives, zero counts as a life, but you can't collect any more than that. Interesting. And of course I'm going to go back up here because it means getting more, well, getting in that life back. As long as I go through the entire pathway. Also means more presence, which means more high score. Because I don't think there is actually another, um... I don't th think there is... Whoops, so daisy. I don't think there's another bonus stage. sake. Well, it would be another extra life if I could just go complete this run. Ugh. 
This one jump is now causing problems. No. Ah. Darn it. Trouble is, now it is worth it to grab the extra life. As long as I can get up there. That's half the battle. Penny straight into a present. Okay, full health, nice. Ow. <laughs> Not so full health. Decided almost too late then that I was going to jump over the bomb and simply avoid it. Bomb. Not sure if Santa grabs that automatically if I have to, or if I have to push the D-pad up, but I push the D-pad up anyway just in case he doesn't grab hold of it. There we go. That gets me back up to eight lives. Okay. Done with optional pathway A. Bomb, Santa hat. Perfect. And plane. <gasps> No, I think maybe Santa grabs hold of those, uh, automatically. But I almost don't want to test it. Hi, <laughs> Papa Link's Pokemon in. Wait. Where? Where do I go? Oh, I had to go higher. Oh, hey, that's coffee. We haven't had that in a while. Coffee time. I definitely needed that. I'm going back for more coffee. <laughs> now that's just not fair. <laughs> Needed one shot, unlike all the other ones in this stage. There we go, take care of you guys. Nope, that's an elf. Yeah, okay, cool. I did not press the D pad up that time, so that's completely automatic. Which is nice to know. the elves did a little bit more than just wander around all day. Like, maybe if they came across an enemy, they turned it into a present or something. Because, I mean, otherwise you just kind of think that they're enemies when you see them. Uh, does that go anywhere? No? Sure ain't Santa's little helpless this year. Santa's doing all the leg work. Right, okay, so we're done here. Careful. Mm. 
Oh. Alright. Very well then. Is there anything over this side? Pa! <laughs> Swing right into it. <laughs> Fucking launched. <laughs> Coffee time. I know that's health, so I'll take that. I think we've beaten Sanders' high score by twice his high score. <laughs> oh, new. Ow. Oh, piffle. Well, not sure if that was a shortcut or a long cut. All right. Well, I'm not gonna go back. I am not gonna go through that glass. Nope. Okay. Right, so there's definitely... Okay, so there's some extra health over that side, but that's it. <laughs> this time I'm not getting catapulted into a plane. Also, the basket didn't disappear, that's interesting. <laughs> the rest of the level faded. That was a big one. Lots of presents in that stage. Stage 23, we're almost home and hosed. Over the USA. So there is a bonus stage. What? Sure. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Geronimo! Grenade! Santa! What are you doing? Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Ah yes! Floating rugby balls! Bombs away! The Statue of Liberty Pretty sure that's not how footballs work. I missed! I missed! Well, there's two presents in front of your house, you'll just have to go find me. <laughs> you just have to go find him. <laughs> Didn't I play this last year? Hi, Nyadasu. I did! I am making this a Christmas tradition. <laughs> Every Christmas Eve, we will play this game. The evil floating football balls. <laughs> I know, right? Pretty sure footballs don't stay in the air like that. Not oh, well, I missed. <laughs> You'll just have to go outside and pick it up outside. Cool hug. Not that I think we're gonna need a magic access code, because this is the final stage. Mr. Weather. We'll fight the weather itself. Ow. Oh, that's right. So the idea here is I think you want to throw your... That's two hits. You want to throw your thing through the, um... Through the cloud to charge it up. Because otherwise it does nothing. Or I think you want to get him to charge it up and then you hit him. Yeah, that's four. Okay. It's actually pretty good homing. Six. No, five. Six. Seven. And he's dead. <laughs> and you call for your child. Now Christmas has been saved, and all the kids around the world have received their presents. So Santa, his reindeer, and the elves may rest until next year. And next Christmas, Merry Christmas to all of you. 
Santa, you might not want to fucking drink that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> also, can we just point out, like, it's the mouse, like, the giant rat guy, who does all the evil things, right? And then, it's... I don't understand, man. Like, <laughs> it's the mouse who does all the evil things, and then we just go and fight the fucking weather. Because why not? It's there. <laughs> Santa just decided to pick a fight with the weather. <laughs> also, would like to point out, considering this game only released in Australia, you never once visited Australia, you cock. Want me presents? All the kids around the world have received their presents. Pa! What a joke. Then he's gonna go insane inside his own. Well, that is Days Before Christmas. Thank you for playing Days Before Christmas. This is such a weird little game. I didn't even know it existed for many years until, like, Probably around 20... Anywhere between 2010 to 2016, I think, is when I found out about this game. And my friend and I played through it online. And we actually recorded our first playthrough. Unfortunately, the only problem with our first... With that playthrough is... Uh, the final video. Where we full-on reacted to the final stages of the, of the game. We lost the recording. Something something messed up on the recording. I think, like, either I wasn't recording or one of our voices wasn't recording. And we had to redo it. And it just, like, all of our motivation to actually play it sort of left. And you can tell in the recording. Uh, by the way, that recording is not on YouTube. Uh, I don't think it ever will be. So, sorry about that one. But it was, it was a lot of fun. And... Honestly, that's why I'm kind of keeping the tradition alive. Like, we're going to be... This is not the last time that we're going to be playing Days Before Christmas. This is just a fun, stupid little game. So, we will continue to play it every year. Happy Holidays from Sunsoft and Funcom. The end. We will continue to play this every year on Christmas Eve without fail. Wait. Wait. The credits loop! <laughs> Alright. Wait, what was the, the S? I missed it. S. K. Why? L. E. E. R. letters do you get? That's... I think you can tell where I'm going with this. My god, you get a lot of levers. Letters. Huh. 
Uh, R. <laughs> Skyla better. Skyla better. There we go. <laughs> GG. We got tw over twice the highest score of Santa. <laughs> Alright. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you all. That was Days Before Christmas, our annual tradition. Alright. Well, that's gonna be it from me. I have got to get ready for Christmas myself. So, let us see if we can raid someone tonight. Rory! Rory AU is doing some Warhammer 40k. Hey, let's, let's head on over there. Alright. As for me... Well... This entire week is completely scuffed and screwed up, thanks to Christmas. Um... I will not be streaming Monday night, so I will not be streaming tomorrow night, because I won't even be home, and if I am, I might be a bit tired. Uh, that would be Christmas Day. Boxing Day, I will not be streaming either, because we are actually going out in the evening. So, that means Super Mario RPG is going to be on Wednesday night this week. Followed by Asterix and Obelix XXL, that will be on Thursday night this week. And we will finish the week off on Friday night with Pokemon Stadium slash Pokemon Yellow version. I will post this in my Twitter when we're actually finishing up. Or like, when I, when I post my, hey we're finished for the night chat, or post. I will do that in just a sec. I will post up the schedule. So, that is the schedule for the week. Definitely nothing on Monday night. Definitely nothing on Tuesday night. So, with that, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. If you do not celebrate Christmas, that is perfectly fine. Have a happy holidays. If you don't celebrate the holidays at all, I hope you have an amazing day slash week. And I will see you on Wednesday night for more Super Mario. RPG. Have a good night, everybody. Oh yeah, raid. Raid, 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 raid. Almost forgot, almost forgot the raid. That was close. <laughs> Alright. Good night, folks.